invitation. Ben, your invitation has been wonderful. It was the humanity that brought me here because I could have sent you this presentation for you to read. But the human that brought me here was Jan. It was his emails to me as a person to get me to invest that my time was worth being here as a person versus just sending the information through the technology. I would also like to recognize the junior staff that has been here because they have made it possible for those of us international people to make this time more important. So the support of make is as important as the make of the make. <coughs> Last year I was invited to the summit where the uh, Russian and Chinese governments made their agreement and I spoke on human capital. And if you're not uh, familiar with that term, it is to develop the people as the best resource of any country, much more important than what comes from the ground. So this is our goal of education. Every person gets, makes, is involved in some type of selling, buys, uses, and disposes of all of our resources. The making is the tangible. But in all of those areas are systems that are also made. In epistemology, which is the philosophy of education, I have read them since the 1400s, and these are the overarching tenets that most people have covered, so I will skip. We have Philip Reed and William Duggar representing very important aspects of technology education, STEM, and integrated STEM. I am a graduate of the integrated STEM program at Virginia Tech and also have been a member of ITEEA for 15 years now. There are two versions of STEM that overarch all the STEM. One is silos, science-based STEM, math-based STEM. The other is unified, integrated STEM. And again, uh, Dr. Reed is here representing engineering by design as well. Of the programs in the US, there are three major STEM conferences. ITEEA, to me, has the most rigor. The STEM of the National Science Foundation has the most attendance. And the US News and STEM Solutions has the most big budget from things like Lockheed Martin and Boeing. This fellow might be familiar to you. I was incredibly pleased when I came here and had breakfast and the first person I saw was the most important person to me that my research has been based on. And it was a wonderful honor to be here with him. So this is my work. As you can see, based on his definition, my definition is similar, but adds in the arts. So science, the natural universe, technology, tools and innovative devices, but to me, more than humans, animals make tools as well engineering, the creative current act. Arts, to me, includes sociology, philosophy, education. It's the liberal arts. So think technical university, liberal arts university. And mathematics is a base language of everything. It's the underlying language of social languages. So science and technology interpreted through engineering and the arts based in mathematics. So my work has been to formally link all of the subject areas, not four, not five, but there are nine major subject areas. So why? Because we want to have more fun. Life should be enjoyable, but we should also be functional and literate across all of the fields. The goals is that everybody's efforts are promoted. My mother is very disabled. She still tried hard, harder than me every day, because everything is harder for her. Culturally representative. Everybody should have their own identity, but be respectful of others. And of course, more inexpensive, so we spend more money on projects, less on books. This is where my program is. I have personally trained over 1,900 teachers in the last three years, over 50 full staff in 35 states and nine countries. This started in 2009 
when I started working uh, and they came to me from South Korea and I was invited to go and present there. And then in 2012, Shanghai, Singapore, Hong Kong, and Taiwan joined PISA, but you can see that Korea is still near the top and their science scores went up 0.01% after putting STEAM into their science programs as a basis. There are ripple effects of what is the most important course, but in STEAM, when everything comes out as a concentrated energy, all of them come out with cross-references, so not one is the most strong. My grandmother's brain is dying, and I use STEAM, and it brings her to a point she can learn new things again. <laughs> so what is the point of a STEAM educator? It's to empower our students to learn about the silos, be most effective using their individual talents, explore their personal interests, and reduce their limitations. So this is science, technology, engineering, mathematics. This is my newest work and what I have contributed to the STEM fields is I have done an extensive search of the liberal arts and tried to organize them almost like a biological tree. So you can see that it includes so much more than design and aesthetics. And to me, one of the most important pieces is futurology. Our children care more about the future. And when we teach social studies, we primarily teach about the past. But it's more important what happened in the past that's relevant to the now that's gonna be in the future for them. So when we go and we look at a museum like we did today, we are learning the history. We are learning the history of the science and technology primarily. And engineers without an artistic value are not designing well. So in Chinese culture, the four scholars of art, Qin, music, I'm not saying these correctly, I'm sure, Qi, ghost strategy, Shu, calligraphy, and Hua, painting. Those all have basis in STEM. Language, it's what we write, we speak, sign language, I mean language, symbols, yes. There are three types of language, mathematical writing, technical writing, social writing, there's pictorial and alphabetic languages that both affect the engineering of the brain in different ways. There's societal influences. And for instance, in Spanish, engineering is male and sewing is female. So it, it helps keep those cultures locked into that. This is the percentage of people who speak languages on different countries. And we're gonna fly through because I have two minutes left. So music, <laughs> physical arts, is physics, so my PE teachers teach physics. Social studies, that is what I frame everything around. To me, that is the most important subject. It is the why. I use Wichi to teach STEAM. So these are the nine topics. Science, math, technology, engineering, language arts, social studies, fine arts, physical education, and music, and I combine all of them into a theme these are the most popular, universally relevant themes. This is what I use for high school. It's very closely linked to technology education, and it goes in the development of humanity. So at the beginning, we had first communication, then agriculture and materials and processes, then universal abilities, IOI is inputs, outputs, and impacts, transportation, power, and energy, and then we are now design, innovation, construction, and manufacturing. This is my favorite project. It's called Steam Town. Every student picks what they want to be. As an adult, they have their own budget. They all interact with each other every Monday. They have to figure out what is the price of gas, what is a medical problem, and based on their career choice, they all affect each other's learning that week. Inputs, outputs, and impacts. What goes into a system, comes out of a system, and is impacted by a system. 12 to 16-year-old students are the world's best inventors. A student gets abstract thought. 13, 12 to 13, by the time they're 16 years old, they've been told no too many times. So in my opinion, 12 to 16 year old students should not be in school, they should be in research and development labs. So a lot of times we've heard project-based learning, I change it, I call it reality-based learning. So my students aren't just doing projects in the school, they are interacting with science, with engineers, they are really helping real companies, real government, Real businesses solve real world problems. That is the engagement piece. 
Because when I go to some countries where they make a lot of money to get their students engaged, we have to make it real and exciting for them. Sustainability, of course, very important. Water, air, right? Where I, I was is ironic to at the end of the discussions in France is the Beijing red alert and we all fly in for this meeting and it's so important to all of us that we have clean air, clean water, sustainability for our culture and our world. So these are some of the reasons and goals for STEAM educators. STEAM teams have to be well balanced of who they are as a person as well as their skills. So this is where they should be safe, safe physically, safe intellectually, safe emotionally in a classroom. And everybody is on a team where nobody is in charge. Everybody is lateral. And the benefits are transference, interest, balance. And so I also have open rubrics. Instead of a rubric that everybody makes a similar thing, they make their own thing but still have similar quantities to be evaluated by. And I'm going to leave this up that I think it's one of the most important quotes of John Dewey. And it goes back to when we ask students to really look at education and reality, they're going to question the ways we offer it to them. And they're going to change it as the students themselves. Thank you very much.